Hi everyone and welcome back. If you guys are using a beefy GPU, I would highly recommend using one of these uh, vertical hold GPU holder kits. This is the third version of the Cooler Master. I have been using the second version of this kit, which is this one, for almost one year now and I find it to be useful. This third version here comes, uh, as we can see from the box, I will uh, open it in a, in, a, in a minute. As we can see, this is a tool that's kit. While unboxing it, let me go through some specs. Uh, this kit comes with a uh, riser, uh, with a PCI for Gen 4 cable, uh, which is long 165 millimeters, if I'm not wrong. And the dimension of the kit closet is 250 almost millimeter, with 148 and 141. If you open it completely, it's going to be 350 millimeters almost and 178 and 141 because that doesn't change the width. But here we have the PCI Gen 4 cable, some manuals. This kit can um, be installed on almost all the cases. Alright, so here we got our kit. Okay, guys, here we have the two kits. Um, some of the differences here is this one, as we can see, is a little almost double the length, more or less. So the difference is you can slide it like so, for example, in case you want to uh, have it near to the front panel or or you don't want this part here to touch the, the motherboard. Uh, with the older one, you cannot do that. You just you, you have to install it as it is. You don't you can you cannot slide it from left to right let's say uh, it's almost 30 millimeters i believe this thing here and one uh, another difference is that you uh, with the older kit here you need two screws in order to uh, slide it and move it like so with this one you don't need the screws you have this piece of plastics here just you have to do it like so and you can slide it from left to right uh, another difference i can tell is this part here the the um, the PCI slots are a little bit more easier. How we have here one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, so in the previous version you need at least seven PCI slots to install it, and here we need you need at least five PCI slots to install it. Another difference I can tell: this one is a two slot, uh, two PCI slots, so you can you can install a card which is a two PCI slots, and here we have uh, three slots here. Uh, I, I think they have done this for the BFS G 1490s that are going to come out from the NVIDIA partners, if you guys are lucky with the power cable. I believe the PCI cable is the same length from what I can tell, yes, it's the same length, so that won't change nothing. Alright, so let's install this thing inside the case. Alright guys, the first thing to do is to install the cable on this support here, the PCI cable. And you can use these screws inside here. We have to pass it in this hole here like so and install it here. Alright guys, once we are done here we can install our GPU just to check if everything fits perfectly but I'm almost sure that it's going to be okay. You can even leave the GPU here, it's going to be a little bit easier. If you are going to leave it here like so, be sure to hear the click sound. So you are not going to have issues after with the installation. Alright, we have to install also these two screws here in order to prevent the sagging of the GPU. I will do that in a minute. Alright, here we got our GPU firmly fixed here, it's not going to move. One thing I liked of this is that even if it's near to this uh, part here, as you can see we have all these holes here for um, allowing us all the airflow and um, when the GPU is going to get hotter it's going you have all this part here for the airflow so you are not going to be stuck with uh, all the hot air here on the GPU as you might know this is a 3090 as you might know this have these GPUs have an amazingly high temps on memories and the mem this is a 3090 with a uh, 24 uh, gigabyte of um, memory so all the uh, some memory modules are uh, here on the back so they're getting really really hot and uh, this thing here that I like it, they have improved it um, from the previous version. This thing here is going to help us with uh, all the airflow. All right, the next thing we have to do is to install the, others, uh, the other part here on the on the case. All right, guys, here I got my uh, 7000D from Corsair. This thing is screaming clean me. The first piece we have to install is this one here, which is, let me say, the bracket for everything. And then you have to use these two. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
and then we have to install it with these two screws here now depending on your case you might need to remove this some of this let me show you depending on your case you might need to remove this or not uh, in my case in my case i'm not going to remove this because i need i need these two holes here for uh installing all the bracket i have to say that they have make it a little bit easier installing this piece here because with the previous version let me show you guys it was a little bit more complicated when you have to install the bracket for example this is the old one so you have to go through here and it's more complicated to install all this all these screws here and it's going to sag a little bit because it's not going to be firmly installed here so i believe they have done a nice job with this uh, let me say independent piece of bracket here Alright guys, here we got the bracket installed, that installed the GPU holder itself, so you can do it like so. Remember to leave these things up as you have, you have seen it here. So we have to install the cable here, which you have to struggle a little bit here because uh, in my case there is not that much space, but nothing impossible. Well, I guess I have to remove this little piece here because otherwise I'm going to struggle so much for the cable installation here so I would suggest you guys do the same all right here we go now we can install the other the bracket itself all right guys remember that this piece here should be installed here in this part here as you can see here we go i'm going to lock this one because we have to install the gpu first now i have to connect the power cables here but i will do it at the end so what you can do here remember to close the retentions that we have here the, and here we go you can move it like so if you want to leave a little bit more space uh, for not touching for example in my case the memory modules here as you can see or, to, to, or you don't want the, the gpu to touch the other components there um, of course pay attention because this part is going to be too much near to the front panel so you should find something in the middle let's say more or less like so this can be something acceptable in my opinion as we can see this is a little bit moving here but nothing that you can fix with this little piece here i have this one but you might have something else which is preventing the gpu to move when the fans are spinning at full speed you can unlock the two pieces of plastic here that are easy they have make it easy this this time with this third version you can move if you want let's say so lock it again and here you go for having a little bit space here for the cable management or whatever else you want all right guys as usual let's check the pci speed anyway the gpu z is showing to me the pci gen 4 so for that i'm sure that is uh, going to work but anyway with a 3d mark pci experts future test let's go and test the bandwidth of the pci speed Alright guys, as we can see the PCI Gen 4 is working perfectly, the bandwidth is normal. That was all for the review of this GPU vertical kit from Cooler Master. This is the third version and I have to admit it is more DNI friendly. Others also make this kind of kit but I didn't find them as reliable as this. I highly recommend this kind of solution if you have a beefy GPU or you want to have a clean build with improved airflow and why not also a good aesthetic. The price isn't high, depending on where you live you can find it for a about 70 or 50 bucks mm, even less sometimes and i think it's the right price for this kind of stuff if you like this video leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell this will help the channel a lot and allow me to bring more content like this thanks for watching